What's going on YouTube? My name is Fab. This channel is all about tech and cyber. If you have trouble using OpenVPN and SSH on a Try Hack Me Lab, stay tuned. I'll show you every step of the way. It's quite simple. It's going to be a short video trying to help you out on any Try Hack Me Lab. Let's get into it. So here I'm going to be showing you how to use OpenVPN and SSH and I'll be using my Kali Linux machine that I built on episode one and two. If you haven't seen those videos, go check them out. It's how I built the Kali Linux machine. I'll be using that little Raspberry Pi. I'm going to be using OpenVPN to create a safe virtual private network between TrackMe and me. And then I'll be SSHing into their servers so I can continue the lab. The first thing you have to do is open up Firefox, Chrome, whatever you have and open up Try Hack Me. While you're here, you wanna click Control-Alt-T, open up your terminal. So if you look real quickly, we're gonna to try to ping these servers to see if we have any connection, and it won't let you ping it unless you use the OpenVPN that they recommend. So the next couple of videos is gonna be me going over the whole Linux fundamentals, part one, two, and three. And I won't be going through reading them, but I'll show you how to find the the flags and the answers and i'll explain it quite easily for you to understand so if i click on the linux fundamentals part one start machine give it a second once your machine loads up you're going to have an ip right here so if you see if you try to ping this ip 10.10.9.185 if you try to ping it it won't go through when you wait it won't it won't do anything as you can see and we do have we do have an ip so it is working correctly it just won't ping through so what you're gonna have to do is you have to go on up here click on your profile and click on access now i am from the united states and i tried to use the us east regular and for some reason it would not work so i just had to keep using the the eu regular one download my configuration file now that you have it here if you go on ls you are to change directory even if you don't know what you're doing right now just follow what i'm doing and then on the next couple of videos i'll show you what all these things mean and it's quite easy you click change directory to your downloads folder and if you click ls that's the file we just downloaded the open vpn so to start this up we're going to do sudo open vpn and we're going to type in the the file we just downloaded which is fabiani 1001.ovpn once you run this, you will get this initiation sequence completed. And if I refresh this over here, I'm connected, as you can see. Now, if I open up a new tab and I try to ping the machine that we opened up from the Linux fundamentals part one, it should ping now. So now if we ping 10.10.9.185, now we're getting connection. And if you want to cancel that, you hit control C and that's it. All right, I know the IP here is different, but while I was editing the video, I realized that for some odd reason, the part where I SSH'd into the, the machine, it did not record or it just didn't save, I don't know. But this is why you can't really see me because it's already dark at night and it's just a small little part. We finished the majority of the video. It's just the last part of the SSH. So this number will be different. But where we last left off was when we did ping. So if we ping 10.10.31.15, three which is right here again it's going to be a different ip because this is a couple hours later after the video i did but anyways if you ping it you will get ping responses like like this that was the last thing we left off on after that you, we're going to ssh into it so when you want to ssh into a device it goes to ssh space try hack me then you put the at sign and then the ip address you're trying to connect to which in this case is going to be 10.10 10.10.31.153. When you click enter, since it's the first time connecting to it, it's gonna ask me, are you sure you wanna continue connecting? We're gonna type in yes. We added it to the host. The password for this is gonna be try hack me, no spaces, all lowercase. It's not gonna show you for whatever reason, for security, I guess, but you have to know what you typed in, click enter. Once it confirms that you have everything correct, your SSH into the account, and now you have try hack me at Linux one. Again, as you can see, I was in the Kali, Kali Linux, and now I'm in the try hack me at Linux one. If I click 
who am I? I am try hack me. If I get out of this, if I type in who am I, I am Cali, which is the name of my computer. With that being said, I'm gonna, it's gonna jump back to the original video. Don't forget, once you're done, hit terminate. You're done here. Go back to your, your open VPN and just hit control C and then you're good. Another way to, to make sure that your, your open VPN did work. Once this is initiation sequence completed, go back, open up a new tab and type in IF config. My IP, my loopback, and this was in here before. INET 10.8.8.244. If I go back to right here, see? That's showing that I'm connected. Hit control C, I cancel the open VPN. And I do IF config once more. That tune zero isn't here no more, as you can see. So that's another way for you to make sure that your OpenVPN is working. I hope this video helped anyone that was trying to understand OpenVPN and SSH. If you have any questions, please ask me down below. I'll reply to anyone that asks any questions. Stay tuned for Linux fundamentals. I'll be going over everything easily. Thanks once again. Peace.